Yeah. Well, we kind of covered a lot. Um, I I kind of told you that I wanted to flip the script and allow someone like yourself, who's you know been in the game for so long, and also I've I've been able to you know thankfully be a part of your journey a little bit. Um, by the way, did I beat you in ping pong at your birthday party, or did you beat me? I think uh, I was pretty bad. I for sure, I think I for sure beat you. Well, I was wearing like brand new yeah. white bands, which I never uh, wear bands. I never bought. I know, white. but then I gave you shoes though. That's right, you gave me shoes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe it was the shoes man maybe your sh- yeah. your shoes were the reason why i did I it on lost. purpose actually yeah. strategy i put too strategy, much pressure guys. on myself i put, I put too much pressure <laughs> that's on what it was yeah um it happens but i wanted i wanted to be able to uh allow you to ask a uh, a question i kind of i kind of you know asked you a bunch of questions and you know and i appreciate you being open and honest and sharing your experiences hopefully it can again help others maybe relate and maybe learn from it um for them uh, for themselves but did you have like a specific question that you you have yeah for sure it was um so we talk about you know players and their pressures that they have you know performing and stuff like that but as a coach mm. i know that you still get similar pressure that kind of goes unnoticed and not mm. only do you have i think for players you can't kind of have like you the pressure of like yourself you know your mom and, and like just your mom and dad but as a coach, mm-hmm. you have the pressure of the teammates and, you know, obviously the kids that you're, you're coaching and stuff like that, but also also the parents and, you know, also like maintaining a, a good, you know, coaching staff and stuff like that. So, like, how is the, the pressures as a, as a coach, you know, how does that kind of affect you and, and what are those pressures? I think in the beginning of my journey, it was being good enough. I started coaching when I was 20. So uh, I was young. I, you know, uh, so when you're that young, you're just thinking you want the the nod from the other staff that maybe have played at a higher level than you, that have been coaching longer than you, that have a higher license than you. Um, Mm. So at first you're kind of sounds like selfish. Like you're trying to like get your own confidence you know it goes back to what you talked about like so and then as you evolve and after say 15 years now the pressure i have is making sure that i create an environment for a player who wants to get to the highest level possible that i create that environment so for example regardless of the level of team flight three flight two you know bronze silver silver elite if one of your players as a coach tells you i want to play for the women's national team i want to play for the men's national team what are you going to do to create that environment Mm -hmm. so it's unrealistic for every player to have that goal um also probably not very fun to manage 18 you know want to be lebron james's uh that would be probably chaos so (laughs) Just a little bit <laughs> might be a lot of fights breaking out um possibly you never know yeah so i think now it's um creating creating an environment for those players because we never want a player to be able to say is that <clears throat> that they didn't they, they they weren't able to grow you know within that mm-hmm. practice or that environment so um but also too like it's creating a good experience like um because again not everyone wants to be that player so can you also you know have a player who's brand new who just came from recreational to a higher level but not turn them off because Mm -hmm. also too players are going to that environment hopefully for the experience you know so i didn't have that experience when i was 20 21 22 but as i got you know older and had a lot of great mentors so it's creating a really good environment consistently and it's not easy i mean just to give you a short example like one of the teams that i coach we were going to an event we had two weeks to prepare the last session before the event i can tell that my tone was getting like higher that my tone was Mm. like becoming impactful to where half the team shut down and and i like i remember being in the car driving away going like why why was i so amped up and it's like because i know that this is the last session so we're going to an event and it's like, you know, it has to be important, has to be hard, has to be, but it's like, yeah. 
is that tone helping players get better? And so mm-hmm. it's a lot of like self-reflection um, and trying to become better. So yeah, to sum it up, I would say creating an environment to where anyone can, can achieve their goals. You can do that. Yeah. That's, if you can do that, that's pretty, that's pretty good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, 